Good evening again for the second time this evening. Right, I'm just going to move that out of the way. In fact, I might just turn it off actually for a, a few moments. Right, okay, so we've done the analogue microphone. Here's the digital microphone. And this is the sort of same, same kind of microphone that you'll find in a mobile phone. And this is an INP441. Now, they're available eBay, Amazon. Um, I think I paid about £5, again, from Amazon for this one. A um, little bit different. Needs a little bit of configuration. So, just let me disconnect it all because I want to try and zoom in a little bit if I can. Okay. So, the thing is, see the hole in the middle? That's where the audio goes. The actual element is on the back there. So, I've soldered the pins on obviously that way. Okay. Now, this is important. The pin here... Let me grab a, a pointy object... Okay, this pin, L and R, this pin has to be grounded. Now, you could run a wire from L and R to ground, or just do what I have do here. This ring is grounded. This copper ring all the way around is ground. So I've just put a blob of solder. Okay, if you don't do that, this won't work. So that's that. Once you've done that, because this only needs to be mono. So, and it, it also, it, I think this does, it knocks out the right channel. It just configures it properly. Bear in mind, this is a digital microphone. It's the first time I've ever actually encountered a digital microphone, sort of in the flesh and used it for something. So, the other pins you need are WS, SCK, Obviously ground and 3.3 volts and SD. And that's it. So we'll just put the mic to one side. I've got the, if you log into your, and I want to turn it back on, but the microphone will not work now. I'll just let us come back out of there. Okay. So if you go into your sound settings, the first thing you need to change is the microphone type, and it wants setting to generic I2S. And the standard pins are, the default pins are SD to GPIO32, WS to GPIO15, and IS2SCK to GPIO 14. Obviously, as well, you've also got power and ground. So five wires to connect the digital microphone. So it's two more wires than the analog. And I thought, well, what's really the difference? And it, it seems that the digital microphone, the background noise filtering appears to be better. It seems to have a better frequency response and it seems to respond quicker and I just don't know whether that's me. Um, but once you've set that generic I2S, you will then have to reboot the board. So just disconnect it or do what I didn't press the reset button. So cracking on, I'm going to wire this up. I'll do it as is because I have a reasonable idea of of what's going on but I'm struggling to see I'm just going to turn put some lights on so okay so VCO and ground are those so I happen to know that that's orange And grey. So that's the 3.3 3 .3 volts in. 
that's the SD. So SD is GPIO 32, which is the green wire. So that's SD. And then what's this yellow one? So it's about the fourth one up. So that will be GPIO 15, which is WS on the back of the microphone, which is the middle one. I've actually, I don't know whether you can see this, I've removed the ground wire. Um, sorry, the LR, not the ground wire, you pillock. I've removed the LR wire because it's, it's unnecessary. And then finally, the grey wire. And I'll just connect the power back up because it just, these pins are a little bit slack. And if we go save. And sound settings. Oops. Back, back. Just make sure that, yep, so I'll just, so you can see there. So you can see that the LEDs are communicating. If we go to a audio test there, that reminds me of a scale X trick from when I was a kid. But there is the digital microphone working. Okay, so again, ludicrously simple ludicrously just don't forget to put that lr pin to ground and and there you go that's i, I suppose i'm gonna to somehow have to do some sort of comparison between that and the analog microphone i don't really think it's that important to be honest i could i could argue the case for the analog microphone as only needing three wires then again, I could argue the case for this because it is much smaller. It's probably better if 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 standard analog microphones were really still very good, we'd be using them. But we're not. We're using digital microphones, so there must be a reason that we're using digital microphones. And as for the for the price for sort of. I think it's about four pound, five pound. Not really any significant difference from the analog one. It, it's just a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer from my perspective. And I didn't have, to, I didn't struggle with sort of working out any of the pins. Once I, so if it says pin fifteen, it simply means GPIO fifteen, which I looked up on my sort of chart here. Oh. There we are, GPIO 15. Now, what I would like to try is, obviously, it would be convenient if I could have all the pins together. That would make life easier instead of having sort of wires scattered all over the board. So I'm going to have a, a play with that, but that's not really any significance or consequence to this. But there you go, folks. A digital microphone wired up to a w led sound reactive in about five minutes flat um as always i'd just like to say thank you for watching and if you like the sort of random rubbish that i post please consider subscribing i don't get any money from this i don't monetize anything i don't have sponsors or anything like that i do this because I find it useful to know that somebody else has done it from a, not a non-technical background, but okay, we've never done this before. Let's have a go. Let's see how simple, how easy, how difficult it is. Um, so again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video and I'm hoping to get some more uh, flipper zero videos done i've had a few more bits arrived i've put some new firmware on so there'll be more flipper zero videos coming shortly 
Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good night.